Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Aaron Wilson again, jumping back here on YouTube to talk to you a little bit about trade tickets. So with the new pack drop that's coming up here in a couple of days, you guys are starting to see information about trade tickets. So what I wanted to do is give you information about those people that are new to Top Shot and also those people that might be on Top Shot but don't understand what trade tickets are and what the benefit is to them. So as you'll see from my screen here, um, when you go into the pack section, you click on the packs so the ability to select the series one reserve pack which is going to be a really good pack that has the ability to get a lot of good moments in there and you'll see in this top right hand corner 350 trade tickets so the first question is what the heck is a trade ticket so as easy as i can explain it is let's say you have a moment that you don't like you can take that moment and you can trade it in it doesn't matter if it's worth two dollars three dollars fifty dollars a thousand dollars no don't do that for a thousand dollars and you can turn it into a trade ticket. So you can kind of trade it in and have another chance of getting another moment is the idea. So a lot of people have taken this idea and they just kind of flip their cards or their moments by just going and using um, the locker room packs, which I've done a couple different times. I had a little bit of success doing it. It's just fun to kind of open them back up. So I've gotten some moments I didn't necessarily like. I've turned them into trade tickets. Get You get four uh, tickets and you're able to get a locker room pack so you'll see if you go into the pack section here let me get off the screen you will see the series one that's coming soon and we're going to look at that series one drop here in a, in a second it's coming on the 28th but if you scroll down you can click on the one that says locker room pack so if i click on a locker room pack you'll see in this top right hand corner there's four trade tickets that are released and you can join the drop as long as you have four trade tickets right now i don't have any trade tickets so i'm not able to join the drop but you can initially right off the bat join it as soon as you have those four trade tickets now in this specific locker room pack you're going to get um three specific moments and in those moments you could pull either series two or series three moments that would be in this specific pack so if you click on the pack contents link on the screen it'll take you to what's included and you can see from here on the right hand side you'll see some of the better players you got trey young you got kevin durant you got not taco fall he's not one of levine luke luca so you have the ability to pull one of those guys from these packs but there's a ton, a ton of packs available with a ton of, ton of different moments. If these keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling, you're going to see there's a lot of different moments that you can um, pick through for series. And that was just series two. And the same thing for series three, all the way down. So that's if you just want to go for the locker room pack. So if you're just starting out on, on Top Chat, what I would suggest um, when you do get a couple moments you don't necessarily want or you can only make a couple bucks off them if you sell them back on the marketplace i would suggest checking out this locker room packs and seeing what they have to do and and what's kind of available in them i think for me i think the best moment i really pulled was maybe rajon rondo that's worth about eight, eight bucks or so actually i think i pulled a mb that's worth about right now about 10 to 12 dollars so again you're not going to be getting serious serious heat from there because they're all base sets they're usually out of sixty thousand or out of forty thousand so it's not going to be a ton of value there but it's just fun to open packs and that's something you can continue to do now let's talk about the reserve uh pack which is batch four okay so again this is going to cost you 350 trade tickets so how do you do that if you already have a nice amount of trade tickets let's say you have like 20 or 30 um maybe you want to start to buy you know the cheap series two series three moments right now which you can get a lot of moments right now for two bucks so the floor is right now at two dollars it used to be three dollars but since the last couple of pack drops have kind of pushed it down to two bucks you can start to kind of pile those up but i would also suggest is looking into some facebook groups and maybe you can partner with somebody else that has you know 50 to 100 or so and then maybe you can split the pack with that be my my um my recommendation to you guys you can find those groups just by going to facebook and typing in groups and then type in an nba top shot and see the top ones coming up so let's talk about this drop here for 350 tickets so let's say you're a gambling man and you decide i'm gonna go and buy all as many two dollar moments as i can i'm gonna trade them in so you're talking about 700 bucks which is going to be a tough investment to make your money back on but there is a possibility to do it so let's look to see what's going to be in this specific pack drop 
So you'll see from here, there's a LeBron James, Curry, Vince Carter, and this LeBron is out of a thousand and this Curry is out of a thousand. So if you click on LeBron, you'll see this, this is actually worth $75, $7,600 because it's out of a thousand. It's also series one. It's also his top shot debut, which is obviously going to be big money for him. And there's a possibility that you might pull it. Now it's a small possibility, it's a possibility. All right, and then you go to the Curry. So you click on the Curry. All right, you're going to get, this is going to be another one of his top shot, there's going to be another top shot debut, and you're at about $3,000. All right, so it's a possibility you could you get this, but again, you have a small chance. What the percentages are, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so let's go back and let's look at the drop a little bit uh, more. So first off, you're going to get four moments. It says you get four moments in the drop. One moment is going to be minted out of 1,000, which is really good. And you're going to get three moments minted between 1240 to 4000, which is also really good. So you're going to get some value here. And you're also going to get a series one, which is going to be valuable in itself. So here's the problem. Besides the fact that it's 350 trade tickets and you have to have those 24 hours before the drop, it's also only going to be 500 packs available to purchase. So not only do you have to spend a decent amount of money if you don't have a whole bunch of trade tickets already, you're also going to have to get pretty lucky with the queue in order to get one of those 500 packs. But if that's something you're interested in, you already have a decent amount of trade tickets, um, it's worth maybe giving it a shot. So that's kind of the, the deal on what's going on with the trade tickets. That's what trade tickets are. Just think about it as this idea of, do I want to be able to take what I currently have that I don't want, that doesn't have much value it, and do I want to turn into a trade ticket that I can potentially use. Now, one of the things that I heard from one of the other big YouTubers out there, Team Hold, shout out, shout out to Team Hold. They're, they're doing some quality work up there, more, Monday morning, Monday through Friday. They're doing shows, talking about Top Shot and NFL all day, is he's been compiling them already. So he's like, all right, I think he's, I don't know what his number is, but he has a decent amount of them already. So he thinks that as opposed to doing, like what I've done in the past, where you take four trade tickets, you turn them in, you get another set of cards in the locker room. He's really been compiling, compiling them, and that's a really smart move. Um, so that's pretty much it for this specific episode on YouTube. Just wanted to give you a little bit of download on what a trade ticket is and how can, you can use it to help you build your portfolio on NBA Top Shot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for taking the time. I do appreciate it. If you have any ideas for other videos, please throw them in the comment section down below and make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks so much, man. Take care. See ya.